So in this video, we're going to go through the Society of Actuaries, uh, exam P, sample question 19. So the question reads, an auto insurance company uh, insures drivers of all ages. An actuary compiled the following uh, statistics on a company's insured drivers. Okay, then it gives us chart, right? Drivers, uh, so the parts of the chart, the age of the drivers, the probability that that specific group of drivers gets into an accident, and uh, what portion of the company's insured drivers uh, that that age group makes up. Right? Uh, a randomly selected driver uh, that a company insures has an accident. Calculate the probability that the driver was between the ages of 16 to 20, right? So the probability they were in that age group. So what I want to make a distinction of is, is what these are, right? So portion of the company's uh, insured drivers. So that would imply that the probability of uh, being in this age group, uh, given you like randomly selected an insured driver, is uh, here, uh, 0.08, right? Um, whereas this column, right, probability of an accident, uh, that's given you're in a specific age group. All right, I just wanted to make that distinction. So this question is ultimately asking us to calculate the probability that uh, the driver was between the ages of 16 to 20, given that we know they've had an accident, okay? So this is a classic example of when we want to use Bayes' theorem, all right? Uh, the reason we know we want to use Bayes' theorem is because this is a situation where it asks us, uh, and I'll just kind of use dummy variables for a second. Uh, this is a situation where they ask us the probability of a given B, However, what we have is the probability of B given A, right? We don't know the probability that, uh, of being in this age group given you have an accident, but we do know the probability of getting an accident given, uh, given you're in that age group, right? So that's just a kind of telltale sign of when Bayes' theorem is going to be applicable to a specific question. So let's break this down. So ultimately, we're just trying to calculate this the probability that you're not only in this age group, but you also have an accident. So the probability that you're 16 to 20 and you get into an accident over the probability of getting into an accident. All right now we don't have this value, right? But we can figure out a way to get that value, that numerator. Uh, so let me grab a separate sheet of paper to kind of illustrate that point. So we do know the probability of getting into an accident given that we're in the age group of 16 to 20, right? And this should be equal to the probability of being 16 to 20 and getting into an accident divided by the probability of being in that age group, right? Um, which is uh, probability of being 16 to 20, and we can fill these in, right? This is, this is kind of me breaking down uh, Bayes' theorem a little more, right? Rather than straight writing the formula. So here, the probability of uh, getting into an accident, uh, given that you're in an age group, is this column. So here it's going to be 0.06. is equal to the probability of being in the 16 to 20 age group and being in an accident over the probability that you're just in the 16 to 20 age group, which is given by this column here, 0 0.8. Or 0 0.08. I multiply to both sides and I get the probability of being 16 to 20 and getting into an accident well, that should be uh, 0 0.06 times 0 0.08. And that's what ends up being my numerator here. 
Okay. Uh, to kind of fully write out Bayes' theorem, just for those that don't understand, I can't spend a whole video kind of explaining it. But uh, what it's saying is, say you have the event of the probability um, B given A, where there are different categories for B. So here, probability of getting into an accident uh, versus um, a bunch of different age categories for who could potentially get into an accident. So we'll call this B sub I. Okay, uh, that would be equal to the probability of um, getting into, uh, that'd be the probability of A getting into an accident given that you're in that specific group times the probability that you're in that group and then divided by all the potential possibilities of getting into an accident, right? So that would be, uh, for example, the probability that you're uh, of A given B I, where I is one of your categories, uh, multiplied by the probability of being in B I plus, you know, uh, probability of A given B and then you know, the next thing. And that continues for all the possible categories. In this case, our categories are um, the age groups. So we would have to do one for each age group. So taking this, writing it down here, the probability of being in the 16 to 20 age group given that you're in an accident, we're looking for this numerator, which we already figured out from before, is 0 0.08 times 0 0.06. And just uh, to clarify, I can't go into, you know, this, this video would be much longer if I were to fully go into Bayes' theorem and stuff like that. But if you want a separate video on Bayes' theorem, leave that down in the comments and I can make that video. So, uh, the denominator. Well, first we need to calculate the probability of uh, the, so we need to figure out the total probability of being in an accident. Well, that's going to be the probability that you're um, in an accident given that you're in a certain age group times the probability of being in that age group and the sum of all those. So first, the probability of being in the 16 to 20 age group, which is I'm going to just start it off here because it's going to get kind of long 0.08 times 0 0.06. And what you'll notice is your numerator will always be one of the terms in your denominator when using Bayes' theorem. Okay. And then added to, uh, let's see, 0 0.03 times 0 0.15. And then 0 0.02 times 0 0.04. And I ran out of room, so I'm just going to write this down here. Plus, finally, the probability that you're in the last age group so, and getting into an accident given that you're in the last age group. So 0 0.04 times 0 0.28. And I calculate this. So I'm just going to type this into my uh, TI-30. So just give me one second. Okay, and the denominator and start just a lot to put in. And okay, I get a final answer here of 0 0.158 approximately. And they want us to round to two decimal places. Uh, so that's going to be. 0 0.16, which lines up with answer choice B. Okay, so this problem um, was in general fairly simple. It, it was a Bayes theorem problem, and that's all you really needed to know in order to solve this question.
Okay, so uh, definitely, for example, be familiar with Bayes' theorem. You're going to get a couple of questions uh, involving that concept. Know it inside and out, and know what it looks like in different contexts. Uh, if you want a video of me just teaching Bayes' theorem, just leave that down in the comments. If there are any questions or anything you want me to clarify about this question, also leave a question down in the comments. And if you want to see some other videos of worked out problems like this, I have a playlist. Click on that. However, um, other than that, if this video helped you, hit the like button, because that definitely helps me. But if that's all, good luck, guys.